In the previous video about decibels and sound pressure, we learned that moving speakers closer together results in more complete overhead paging coverage. In this module, we'll learn a method to calculate how far apart our speakers should be, as well as how many we need for a particular room. The method we'll discuss is for sealing speakers with a 90 degree dispersion angle. We'll cover paging horns, which have a different dispersion angle, in a later video. To determine our speaker spacing for a particular room, first we must measure the ceiling height. If the ceiling height changes within the room, treat each area with a different ceiling height as a separate room. Once you have your ceiling height measurement, simply take that number and multiply it by 2. For example, if the ceiling height is 8 feet, you should space your speakers 16 feet apart. If the ceiling height is 10 feet, space your speakers 20 feet apart, and so on. This simple formula will also be used to help us determine how many total speakers we'll need for an area. Once again, start by measuring the ceiling height and multiplying by 2 to get the proper spacing between speakers. Next, measure the width of the room and divide by the speaker spacing number. Since our example is 60 feet wide, we can determine that we'll need three rows of speakers. However, keep in mind that if we start from the wall on one side of the room and measure out 20 feet to place our first row of speakers, our third row will be too close to the far wall. A simple method to alleviate this is to place your first row of speakers the same distance from the wall as the room's ceiling height. Next, measure the length of the room and once again divide by the speaker spacing number. In our example, the room length is 80 feet. Divide 80 by 20 to get 4. This is the number of lengthwise rows that you'll need. So, 3 times 4 gives us a total of 12. However, we can also see by the room layout that only 11 speakers are needed to cover this area. That's because this corner is treated as a separate zone. 